Hello, welcome beautiful vibrant souls to today's collective reading. So I was picking up on this energy. I'm grabbing my chapstick because my lips are dry. Um, I was picking up on this energy um, that somebody's person, and I feel this is something where there's either been, there's separation or there's like a pause, there's a break. There's some time, <laughs> go to your separate corners. There's some time in hermit mode that's happening. And I feel this energy that your this person who I'm tuning into is in this very contemplative, reflective space. There is something about thinking about something they've done that they are reflecting on. And they're looking to find the answers as to why. Why they've done what they've done. Why that pattern appeals to them or still appeals to them. That's a phrase that I'm getting. Um, why they have trouble relinquishing something. Uh, trouble relinquishing an aspect for some it's an aspect of self um an aspect of their life the way it had, has been um there's something here where they're they have cultivated some awareness that they act the way they do or they acted the way they did because it reflects like a deeper need that they're trying to meet right it's again it's a pattern um and they're trying really hard I'm hearing the word desperately to get to the bottom of why they do what they do before moving forward, before approaching you potentially or reapproaching you, uh, having an explanation. So they're showing me the Ace of Pentacles, so trying to offer something solid, whether that is an apology, um, a promise to do better, um, a relationship, a reconciliation. They're really trying to get to the bottom of something. So they're deep in this contemplation. Con contemplation yes contemplative energy trying to understand themselves i gotta be nosy first of all and ask what it is that has happened or what they have done now they may have done this to you they may have done this somewhere else in their life but it is reflective of some aspect of their own patterns that then also shows up in your relationship so even if this isn't like with you it is a effect it affects you it impacts you Ten of Wands in reverse. This person could fear responsibility or commitment. They could also have a tendency to take on too many responsibilities or not be able to manage their responsibilities appropriately. One card is sticking out of the deck and getting my attention. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This person <clears throat> uh, might be an overgiver or have a tendency to give to the wrong things. They have a tendency to throw themselves out of balance. Um, in that particular version of the card, the person is holding a red bag and a green bag, making me think of the root and the heart chakra. So there might be a sense here where this person struggles to have um, a good balance between practicality and what their heart is asking for. They may also have a lot of behavioral patterns that are based out of fear and not out of love or that are almost heart overhead decisions, right? Wherever they themselves are out of balance. So they could even have, I'm getting the phrase toxic loyalty, where they might be prone to make decisions that are based off of like uh, like that might not be healthy it might not be good might not be good for their security um whether more internally or at a material level but they do it because they feel um they they feel loyal to whatever or whomever um you know is is requiring that of them even if it's even just like a version of themselves they are loyal to that even if that behavior, that pattern, that way of doing things throws them out of balance in the other areas of life um, <clears throat> to the point where it can become, I feel, quite destructive. So we have the star. I got to cover it up because YouTube's afraid of boobs. Aquarius energy here. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Okay. The king of pentacles, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The two of cups. The magician. And the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo here. So heavy Virgo showing up, but we also have Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, and Capricorn. Um, I know you can't fully see, but I put these three kind of together and then the other three together. There's a little bit of a space in between. Um, so again, balance being a theme here because I'm, I'm spacing out the cards like that. So this person, I feel, um, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable in my seat, but I'm like not not like I have like really oversized pants which are great but if I sit on them the wrong way I like can't move my little legs and I'm like ah, I'm tethered by my own preferences by my own comfort <laughs> um so there's a sense here where this person I feel um this person has competing sides of themselves right they have um their aspirations versus practicality 
they have they have a dreamer type energy right they have some aspect of themselves that really is like you know eccentric thinks outside the box um believes in something more but they also have a very practical side of themselves and it feels like it's the interplay between these two that's either either wildly out of balance or it's these two sides of self unchecked that can create this five of pentacles energy right we had that six of pentacles show up so there's a sense here where I either see this as they have parts of themselves they are ignoring or repressing, whether they tend to be very, very spiritual and they ignore the practical, or they tend to um, like to, you know, be very, like exude that practicality, right? This King of Pentacles energy, somebody who's very good with their money, very focused on their career, their finances, they like to be a community member. Um, but they also have this very, you know, unique Aquarian eccentric side. And it's like by ignoring half of themselves, they might then um, be prone to this has the energy of somebody who um, has like a completely different life behind closed doors or outside of work. And it feels like they have some part of that life that because they suppress it, right? They say no to it over and over again. Um, it comes out in in like an almost self-destructive way, right? Um, so this could be where if they're repressing like a part of themselves, it's like that part needs to be expressed, it needs to be heard to the point where they might unintentionally self-sabotage um, something that is negating that. So let's say they have like a really high pressure, high profile job. Um, this could be where maybe this person like gets a really, really good, you know, like gets a promotion and it requires more time, but it's also more time where they're having to be only half of themselves. This pattern might then cause them to um, make really, really poor choices. Um, so their job is in danger, right? So their reputation is threatened and it's like a subconscious strategy to be able to like get that part of themselves heard. Now for others, and this is what I'm almost picking up on a little more strongly, is that there's a sense here where your person has, again, I'm picking up like toxic loyalty is a thing that's coming through. Sorry for my crackly bones. There are people who they have really struggled with, right? They have, and it's interesting, we were talking about the, the red and the green bag earlier. We had the little red bag here, I just noticed that, who have been in the struggle with them. And I feel like your person has had, they've held on to that for a really long time. They are very likely to hold on to people <clears throat> who they have been through something difficult with, right? Um, and it feels almost like with the star here, part of why they hold on to these situations and these people, either who they have been through something difficult with or who have put them through this five of pentacles energy, feeling like they don't have enough, feeling like they're not good enough. They hold on to that in some form or fashion for the sliver of hope that things will change, right? Your person keeps like, I'm almost imagining with the star and the five of pentacles, like imagine if you sh showed up naked here, it's like your person keeps hoping that they'll, that they, them showing up authentically, nakedness always implies vulnerability, um, showing up authentically, that that's eventually going to win somebody over or like eventually if they uh, do what's expected of them and they play the role, they'll get a chance to be able to be their open hearted selves and that will be good enough, right? We have the five of pentacles, we saw the six earlier. So what I feel like this is for most of the people here is that there's a self-sabotage cycle where your person is willing to hold on to especially relationships, but also just like patterns that keep them, that ultimately keep them in this five of pentacles energy, right? We have a king of pentacles. This is somebody who knows what they're doing, who knows how to, you know, control themselves, manage their resources, knows, I feel like intuitively understands how to make money, but they lose stability, whether it's material or emotional. They're constantly leaking their own stability through these other these other situations and other connections and people in their life, right? Um, this would even be the kind of person who, if they're not very in touch with spirituality, maybe they're kind of like, I don't know why I can't seem to hold on to money or like, I, you know, I make enough. I don't know where it all goes. This would be that kind of person that's like not picking up on the fact that like, they're just not like conscientiously registering that there are habits and patterns in their life or situations in their life that take their material resources or take their time and energy away from their material realm that are like go through these connections if that makes sense right like that um so you know they they might not really be putting two and two together like i think 
this would be, let's say they, they have somebody in their life that they're, that stresses them out, but they keep the person around because they, part of them still hopes that, um, you know, they'll get back on the same page or that this person will kind of like recognize and appreciate them. This would be that kind of person that maybe they're like, they're, you know, spending a lot of money on going out and eat it, like, you know, going out to eat. They're like, um, spending a lot of money on, you know, alcohol or spending a lot of money on you know compulsive shopping to try to like deal with the stress and this would be somebody who's like I don't know where all my money goes <laughs> like I don't know why I can't hold on to money lately it's like well you have emotional stuff that's causing you to emotionally spend um there's kind of a little bit of that vibe but the biggest pattern I'm picking up is that there's there is a hope here that a situation will turn itself around um, and again, for some, this is, uh, this is a particular person that your person is close with. And it's like, they've been through the struggle together and this person, your person may have made it out or might be making it out, right. Might be creating a lot of stability for themselves. And they hold on to this other person because it's a loyalty thing, right? Like I want to help you the way that it helped me. Um, so there's a sense here where they're deeply reflecting on this predilection and this pattern to accidentally self-sabotage as a way of holding on to hope, right? Um, or like I said, for some to self-sabotage because they're ignoring half of themselves. And on the other side, we have the two of cups, the magician and the page of pentacles. So on the other side, I feel they have this connection with you. And um, we'll, we'll look into it in a little bit, this connection with you where there are these reciprocal feelings. They know this, they're aware of this. I'm getting that very heavily. Maybe you guys have talked about it. Like this feels like this is like, it, I'm getting this energy of it's sitting right here. Right. So maybe you guys have both talked about it and then that's where it is for right now. Or, um, you know, they've given you a sign and a signal. You've given them a sign or a signal. So they're aware. Right. They know how they feel. And so if you've given them a sign that you have feelings, you've dropped the handkerchief, so to speak, they 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 pick that up and they're like, OK, so they know that 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 this this mutuality exists they know that you know if it's love if it's just deep care and affection um you know um they, they know that whatever feelings you have they are reciprocated they also know with the caduceus here that there's a very significant potential for healing in this relationship they also know that this partnership is exactly what they manifested i feel like they recognize that it's also what they need not just even what they wanted but what they need and that might be something that surprised them i feel like this person's been in your life for for some of you it's a year and a half is something i'm getting um does not have to be could be more or less but like this person's you you've had a cycle with this person already so they are aware i feel like they're very savvy they're very intuitive but they're also very shrewd right so it's not just that they have you know intuitive insight it's that they they know what to do with it they know how to analyze it in an uh in an appropriate way in an appropriate way <laughs> um excuse me and so there's a sense here where this person's already very aware like ah okay um this is this is what i was asking for and there might be a sense where they are coming into greater awareness of the fact that even though this is what they were asking for it's causing them to meet parts of themselves we have the birds of paradise here and I have another flower deck that the Birds of Paradise card is self-acceptance. That's the property. It's why I always now I think of Birds of Paradise as self-acceptance. There is a sense here where this person's becoming more and more aware that, yes, they manifested this connection and that it's asking a lot from them. It's bringing a lot up from them. That's why I feel like you've already had a cycle with this person because this person's already been able to see that in action. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles here, there can be a sense where um, they are really growing. For some, there is the invitation for a new beginning, possibly a relocation, um, a new course of study. There's something like that. So if you're encouraging this person to go back to school, they're really thinking about that. If you're encouraging this person to start a new job or even switch career fields entirely, they're really taking that to heart. You make this person feel like they can, with a magician, like they can do anything, right? And so on the one hand, they have this cycle from the past. And, you know, because we have the King of Pentacles on one side and the Page of Pentacles on the other, whenever I see the King or Queen of one suit, the Page of the same suit, that would be a parent-child relationship for me. For some of, for some, this old cycle is having to do with like a father figure, right? With a parent. And there's a sense here of they may have had this cycle of constantly, whatever this behavior is, maybe feeling like they had to prove themselves. They could even be like highly driven, successful, high achievers as a subconscious way of trying to get a parent's, uh, especially I'm getting an absent parent, like an absent parent's kind of affection. This parent could also be very successful or very much value career success, material success. And so it's like, even though they might be making it, even though they might be making lots of money or they might be doing well, they have a lot of status, they have, you know, a good reputation, they still feel 
like they're not good enough they still they still feel empty inside because some part of them is still wishing to be authentically seen again i'm trying not to show her boobies too much <laughs> forgot how funny the word boobies is but i'm really enjoying it lately um they still wish to be seen for who they truly are and loved and accepted and so something this person might be kind of coming to terms with is that no matter how hard they try no it's like some aspect of their life no matter what they do no matter how hard they try no matter what they and this person have been through things still end in the five of pentacles either for them or within the you know connection or both right them in this like their this cycle from the past always puts them in the five of pentacles doesn't matter how much success they've achieved doesn't matter how many of their wishes that they've managed to make come true doesn't matter um you know how because the star can also be about divine alignment how aligned they think they are with their life path right if it's not really true to them and it doesn't it's not coming from a place of self-honor and self-respect and uh, like acceptance it's not going to get them anywhere which might be why this is like maybe not a full-blown surprise for them but this relationship that they have shared with you or that they share with you is really interesting because even though it's asking them to start totally new in some way shape or form or maybe this relationship is at the early stages they have already been been able to see the power of having an even emotional exchange right so they're putting themselves out there they're getting some type of response validation recognition they're getting the things that they actually need right um they may have some something where they haven't really like given a lot like materially they haven't like you know they've been reserved when it comes to financially sharing and that might be like they might be surprised if you are somebody who's like that you know that's not the most important thing to me. There's a sense here where it's like they're still at their beginning stages or there's even so much more that they could do. And they're already seeing how like this is a transformative and different experience for them. This is really interesting. <clears throat> um, I'm clarifying like the King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. I wanted to pull two cards. I want to look at this card, but not take it. Yeah, the Ten of Wands reverse. This is them really letting go of this cycle of self-denial whether it's self-repression entirely or whether it's denying their needs prioritizing other people seven of cups because it's created a lot of confusion i feel like they their emotions get clouded by other people's needs potentially they take on other people's needs as their own responsibility um they might have a hard time being able to kind of tell sometimes in certain relationships where they end and another person begins. I don't think you would necessarily know that about them, but the longer you watch, the more you might be like, they have a hard time saying no to that person. They have a hard time putting boundaries up with these types of people or in this situation. So it might not be because the King of Pentacles is usually very self-possessed. I feel like that's how they come across somebody who is very stable in themselves, maybe stubborn, can't tell them anything you know, they're not really going to compromise their values, morals, or goals, their timeline, anything like that. But there's certain situations here. And again, it's that dynamic of the star and the five of pentacles, the hope of wanting things to change, right? The hope of the relationship changing and the circumstances changing um, is the area that those represent the areas where they're really try they'll be very willing to sacrifice their own boundaries. So let's say this is like a friend where, you know, they had a really rough childhood together maybe your person has really like overcome a lot of obstacles and create a better life for themselves and maybe everywhere else they'll set great boundaries but with this friend they're constantly bailing them out of trouble they're constantly like um you know always the person that they call and you know if they end up in a sticky situation they're always like worrying about this person they put a lot of energy or a lot of material resources into this relationship because they're kind of like i want you to make it out too i want you to have a different experience too and it's kind of getting to the point where it's always putting your person back in the five of pentacles yeah the five of cups at the bottom and beneath that is the eight of swords your person's still like dealing with like having to really i feel like truly grieve you see how we have one cup still standing on the bottom and we have the one cup here it's like really wanting because there's nobody to offer this cup it's just sitting on the ground right it's a sense of like really wanting another person to again be this two of cups right because they've got the cup in their hands it's very different than traditional five of cups they want this other person to come back and like have this reciprocity or that's what they've wanted in the past is have this reciprocity and i feel like with the eight of swords it's like this like i don't even understand why because what's beneath that the knight of swords somebody left them without any communication i feel like or they just don't understand why somebody 
it just does not change the dynamic. It's like things could change and they don't understand why they're not. The Empress, okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. This, you know, this could be, this could be a mother figure, first of all. Um, this could be somebody from their past that they have... This could be, honestly, okay, sorry, something I'm getting here. This could be somebody from their past who maybe made them feel like, because we have a lot of earth energy here, maybe made them feel like they didn't have enough materially. And so it's this interesting dynamic where it feels like they have had to overcome, right? They've had to prove themselves a lot. So let's say this is, because this doesn't feel like somebody they're currently really like, super duper closely connected to. Um, but what they're reflecting on is how this dynamic turned them into the King of Pentacles, which I think has been, has served them in some ways, but has also left them, like what has motivated them is this Five of Pentacles, not feeling good enough, not feeling like they deserved an Empress, not feeling like, you know, an Empress would have an interest in them, right? And always trying to like make more, to have more to give. Um, there's, I feel like that's kind of like a dynamic that's going on here. They could have also been waiting for an Empress. What is this Empress? They could have been waiting for the right person to give everything to. I'm not really like picking that up as heavily. Death. Yeah, this feels like, you know what this feels like? Interestingly enough, Nine of Wands. This feels like somebody from their past. They have they have fought a lot to impress this person, even if this person was no longer around, right? It's like, I'll show them. I am worthwhile. This person, I feel like, criticized or um, overemphasized, you know, overemphasized the importance of material stability or criticized your person's material status, right? Um, this even could be like somebody's, because again, with that page of pentacles, king of pentacles, this is the dynamic between their parents. Maybe their parents split up because of financial reasons and that was really, really hard on them. They could have had a mother figure that was always demanding more money. There could have also been, um, there could have been, because, you know, this is pregnancy and birth. This is always a baby card for me. There could have been an issue of like um, another child putting like financial strain um, somebody could have been an unexpected child in their family and that actually put their family in a lot of financial strain and that child, like maybe they made, you know, this would be your person. Maybe they made your person as a child feel bad about that, or it's just something that your person felt bad about. There's a sense here where something impressed upon them at an early age that they need to have material resources. They need to be this King of Pentacles energy, at least to the outside world. Um, this could be a sense of needing to be very traditional when with the star, there's a part of them that is a little bit more, you know, outside the box, right? Um, and I think this has been a really interesting thing with that Nine of Wands and Death where they have what they're contemplating right now is how they've had to fight a lot to get to where they are and how honestly this five of pentacles this feeling of not being good enough is what motivated them to do that um but i do feel like with the sun here excuse me the sun with death here i'm looking at the sun in the corner uh because you know the death card always has the two pillars that are on the moon card so where the moon was once between them we now have the sun where there's once fear confusion the subconscious the unclear there is enlightenment there is understanding right a new day dawns and that's what feels like it's hap that's what feels like it is happening here right is that I think what your person's reflecting on for many of them is that there is a cycle that helped them get to where they are, but that cycle is no longer serving them anymore. That cycle was built off of not feeling good enough and feeling like they had to go like defend themselves. Like they had to fight for attention, for affection, to be good enough. Some of them, they're linking their patterns and relationships back to childhood, right? This is like, oh, you know, my mom left my dad because he didn't make enough money or, um, you know, one of my parents had an affair and we had like, you know, we had another child in the home. Like they could have like had something like that where it's like, I watched this happen and it made such a huge impression on me that I always had to like, you know, I always had to like kind of almost fight for a place so I wouldn't feel like that. I wouldn't end up like that. Um, and there's a sense here of like, again, with that star, there's always a wish. There's always a hope. When I get to this point, I'll be good enough. When I get this person's approval, I'll be good enough. Um, when I can offer this to a partner, then I'll be ready for a long-term relationship. There's something like that. When I, when I get the king of pentacles or I am the king of pentacles or the king of pentacles likes me, when I help somebody else, you know, somebody who I have been through the struggle with, when I help them to become, you know, the, the King of Pentacles as well, that's when I'll be able to like step into the next phase. That's when I can let things change. And what your person's realizing is that 
that cycle is done. That cycle is over with. And I think another thing they're putting together here is even though they're just like, there's so much more to explore here, right? Maybe they've only given a little bit. Maybe it's still at the beginning. There's a sense here where that's already been more fulfilling than many of the previous cycles they've been on because it's a it's it's based off of mutuality and also respect I feel right um it's I feel like also too the communication is much more supportive than they're used to but it's based off mutual feelings and a sense of empowerment you empower and inspire them to be their best selves you don't shame them you don't berate them you don't make them feel bad um they might be very hard on themselves I feel if they do they are mostly quiet about this but you might be able to pick that up there's a sense here where they're really, they're in this in-between space where they're realizing that the old patterns they have may have served them up to a point, but now are no longer necessary. And they're kind of thinking about like, okay, how do I become a new person, right? And if there's anybody that they're having to leave behind, either in the form of, you know, not waiting on validation anymore, or by like, legitimately leaving somebody behind because it's like, I can't, you know, I can't change your life for you. You have to participate in turning your life around. Um, they're kind of thinking about how to do that and how to release a sense of guilt, especially if they identify as like a helper, a very loyal person, even just with this individual, like, you know, this might be somebody who's like, no, you always help family. You always go back for this person. Like that's, the, it feels like there's a promise and a bond that has to do with their character. And that's what your person's grappling with is how to let that go because it is not serving them anymore. It's not part of who they need to be anymore, even if it was at one point. Um, and how to also still be the, you know, their version of the King of Pentacles, how to still be their version of somebody who is principled, moral, you know, principled, moral, grounded, um, while also allowing themselves to grow and change. This feels like what they owe other people versus what they owe themselves in this moment, um, even though it's, you know, carried out in this fashion. So I'm clarifying the Two of Cups and the Magician. Um, and the page of pentacles i want to look at this card but not take it yeah the moon exactly so this person's working through that but again the sun is rising where the moon once stood the king of cups your person's very emotional very feeling this person might be really processing their feelings a lot right now yeah because behind the king of cups was the seven of swords reversed they're ready to let go of this self-sabotage pattern i feel like a lot is happening for them emotionally at this time we have the three of cups okay the queen of wands Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I feel what's coming next is that there is going to be some type of reconciliation, celebration, reunion. If this person's just been like really low energy or struggling or really like I'm getting almost moody or reclusive, they are going to want to celebrate with you pretty soon, right? They are going to want to um, kind of come out of hiding. Uh, if you guys have been apart, you've been separated, there's going to be a sense of, I feel, bountiful communication is something I'm getting, but something that's going to be worth celebrating, right? They're going to be kind of explaining where they've been coming from. I feel like this person is going to come in and be talking to you about how much you mean to them. That's the first thing I'm getting with these two cards, right? How much you mean to them like the impact you've made both spiritually and then tangibly in their world, right? So maybe you've really inspired them. It feels like this happens more internally first. You've really inspired them. You've really, um, you know, changed their outlook, I feel. you um, helped them be a more positive person. And I feel like this has had, this has had a ripple effect where there, you could have also helped them in tangible ways like, um, I'm seeing some of you bought them specific organizers in their home and it really helps. That's really, really specific. Um, you know, you could have done like actual tangible things like help them, you know, move homes, help them rearrange things in their home. Um, you could have helped them improve their diet, like maybe you started uh, a new way of like getting them onto like a new way of eating or cooking for them. Um, there's tangible ways where you've helped them, I feel, become more grounded, more um more stable but you've also in the process made them feel much more supported we have the king and the queen of pentacles and we were looking at this with the empress right this person even if this is due to a past situation they were always feeling like they had to work to be able to offer this empress what they deserve what they desire that's why they want to become the king of pentacles and where we have the queen here this person's really seeing you as a as like a counterpart right as a match for them as somebody who um it's like they've worked really, really hard on themselves 
to become somebody who is loyal and reliable and dependable and somebody that they are proud of and they feel as if you are somebody who matches their energy. They like your values, right? They like your morals. They appreciate um, you, you know, your relationship philosophies, the way that you show up in partnerships, right? So this is something that they're going to want to talk to you about is that they're going to want to kind of explain to you what they've been going through. Um, you know, I do want to say, I don't love looking at the three of cups, like a third party situation, but I do want to say, um, if there is a third party, just because we have two Queens, we have fire sign energy and earth sign energy. Um, this person is making their decision to come toward you. I want to clarify just in this situation, um, three of cups, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, three of cups. <laughs> okay. Four of wands here. Um, and the hanged man, Pisces at the bottom. If this is something where there is a third party, your person's making a deliberation right now. I do feel as if they are going to be coming toward you because um, I feel like you're somebody who inspires them because the clarifying card is the four of wands. This is the union card, right? This is like you're creating a stable foundation together, but this is also where you are the same at the soul right? And where we had so much energy here with the two of cups, the magician here about inspiration, the, the ephemeral, right? Um, your heart and soul, how you, you know, how you love your sense of personal power, your self-acceptance. I feel like you encourage those things. You help inspire those things in them that they have been reaching for, for a very long time, right? And so in doing so, I do feel as if they will, if there is a third party situation here, they are deliberating and they are preparing to make a choice because they know who it is they want to be with. Um, they want to be with a person who helps them to grow, who their soul feels at home with. And I think that you've um, inspired these things just through the time that you've spent together and being called to cut the deck. Five of Cups. So if there's been a sense of loss here, if you've been waiting for them to come back with their cup, um, that is happening. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. That's happening expeditiously. There will be communication coming in rather quickly, possibly within eight days. So this is what I see going on in this connection right now. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments how this, how this resonates because um, I love hearing from you guys. So I'm wishing you the best. If you are looking for personal readings, my shop is linked down below. Um, yeah, and I'd love the chance to get to connect with you further. Take care, folks.